want to uh, just say no. Okay, here we go, Thomas. It's a really simple equa a couple of trigonomic equations. Okay, so we start at B. This is B. Um, and then we go 10 kilometers across to um, to this next point. And then, based on the bearing of um, 300 degrees, we go, we draw our little compass here again, and 300 degrees around is 270 to here, plus 30 degrees to there. Now, we go upwards by, that's 10 kilometers, we go upwards by another 10 kilometers, And now, what we really want to do here, Thomas, is we want to know bearing of um, black from white. So this is white, and then we draw our compass on black, and the bearing of black from white, the angle that we need is going to be this one. But in order to know that, we know this is 270 degrees to here, but we need to know this angle in here. So that angle in here, I'll call it theta. We need to find that theta. Now in order to do that, we need a trigonet trigonometric equation, which will have this one as the opposite, and this one as the adjacent. So what we've got to do, we take this little triangle here, and we're going to call this... Um, We'll call that one y and we'll call this one x. If we find these two values, then we know this distance and we know this distance. We can find this angle and get the bearing. So um, x equals um, 10 times cosine of 30 and y equals 10 times sine of 30. Um, and that one comes out at 18.66 and this one comes out at 15. Oh sorry, that, this one comes out at 8.66 but 10 plus that um, gives us the total sides. Um, so 18.66 is the distance, um, wait, sorry, 15 is the distance here, 18.66 is the distance here. Now we just got to go theta equals inverse tan of opposite over adjacent, so um, 15 on 18.66. That equals um, 38.8 degrees. Now we know that's 38.8 degrees. So now the bearing of white from black equals um, 270 degrees plus the 38.8 which equals our 300 oh no sorry that is the bearing of white from black but we want the bearing of black from white yeah so that's a 309 degrees but because we want the bearing of white from black, we'll draw our little compass again. And the bearing that we want is this angle here. So what we need to get that, we need this value here. And it just so happens that this theta is the same as this theta. Because when two parallel lines are intersected, um, oh, you can see this one's theta. This, so this one's going to be 90 minus theta, and this one's going to be theta again. So the bearing of B from A, from W, sorry, equals 90 degrees plus our 38.8, which equals 129, was it? 129 degrees, which is answer B. Hope that helps. Let me know if there's anything that you're still confused by.